Hi everyone, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish food recipes. Uh, you asked me how is a traditional Turkish breakfast, so I wanted to show you. We have uh, different kind of cheeses and olives. Olives is a must have in the Turkish breakfast. We have different kinds here, green, pink and black olives. For the cheeses, I have a kaşar cheese, regular one. And uh, this is, you make it simply with milk. If you put vinegar or lemon to a warm milk, uh, it gets curdled and uh, you get this kind of cheese. We call it çökelek. Here I have a plum jam, which I made in the uh, fall time. It's very delicious. And I want to show you something. The plant I have here has a, a very beautiful scent. Let me get one here. And you can use this for for its scent. Uh, I put it in the gems. It has really fresh smell. If I can find the, the English name of it, we call it Itır. So after I searched it, it is rose geranium in English. If you know more information about it, please let us know in the comments and how to use it in the kitchen. So I'm going to put this here. And here I made a sourdough bread uh, yesterday night. So it's ready for my breakfast today. Uh, maybe one day I would show you regular Turkish bakery. And this is a butter but it's a unique kind because actually my husband is from Trabzon, it's in the Black Sea and the city is very famous with its butter, uh, Trabzon Tereya. So this is from there and uh, it is very valuable, you cannot find it very easily, it's so much delicious actually. And here another thing we have in the breakfast, tahin pekmez. Tahin is sesame seed paste. And molasses is a great molasses. You mix them together and uh, kind of jam-like. You eat it with bread, very delicious. Here I have another cheese, uh, feta cheese, it is aged. This is honey. The last one here is Queen's jam. I made it early. And this is pastırma. It came from where I'm from uh, in Kastamonu. It is very uh, popular with thin uh, slices. It is kind of a cured spiced beef and, and also it's called uh, pastrami. I didn't know, I checked from Google. It's very delicious. So my breakfast is ready and people are waiting. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna do is sucuk and uh, yumurta, sucuk egg. And I will put the teas on, breakfast will be ready. Here I have olive oil. My pan is heated. I'm adding the sucuk. Just for 30 seconds uh, is enough. Little bit of um, red pepper flakes. So I will break the yolks just a little bit. If you prefer, you can leave them whole. I am not going to bake it uh, too much. It is important for me. The heat is uh, medium right now. Uh, I will close the lid just for a 10 to 20 seconds to make a steam inside, but not too much. I'm gonna wait so it's not overcooked. And here my tea is ready. It's been about 30 minutes since I brewed my tea. So the tea leaves are settled now. I know it's ready. Maybe one day we should make a Turkish tea. Just a little touch. And okay. It's done. A little more here. And we can go. For me it is very important to have everything hot. Sucuk eggs tea and if I'm toasting the breads 
because it is fresh now. I didn't toast the bread. Hot tea and uh, sujuk eggs is ready. We can begin to eat our Turkish breakfast. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please let me know how is the breakfast in your region. I really would like to know. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another Turkish food recipe. Afiyet olsun. Thank you.